did not have high hopes for fishing anyway. So let me just tell you a little bit about wintertime river fishing for trout. In the wintertime, their metabolism slow down as the uh, water gets colder and as there's less to eat. So they're, there's not only less to eat, but they're less hungry. They're less energetic. They're less curious. They're more dormant. Now you can definitely catch trout in a partially frozen um, river with a casting reel or even a fly reel or a fly rod. But you need to know where they're gonna be at. Usually they hang out underneath things like log jams or right around rocks. Even though you do wanna be looking in deep water because the deeper the water, the warmer it is down below. losing light but I don't mind leaving here in the dark really um, if I have to or if I just decide to I have light I have a headlamp and I have uh, and I know my way out of here it's one way in one way out there's no getting lost check this out so awesome God, I could sit right here. But I'm interested, what I'm interested in is finding a spot with the table. And that's quite a ways up this trail. So I'm gonna keep walking just for the sake of exercise. Look at my spinner. How is that supposed to spin? <sighs> Still some good residual light right now. But uh, it's good to get your headlamp out. Make sure it works before it gets dark. That way you're not digging around for it, looking for it after dark or realizing that it doesn't work and it's dark. A lot of people hate being in the woods in the night, especially by themselves. And a lot of people hate being out in the cold, especially at night. I'm gonna go a little bit farther up here where I'm thinking I have like a, I know where there's like a rock that has like a, I, I could use as a table maybe. Okay, well, I'm wondering if you can see it. I really almost hope you can't because it's just, oh, it pisses me off so bad. And this is one of my favorite spots to come out here. I've actually shot a video right in front of this wall it's too dark. Some little ass spray painted a huge, a uh, couple bad words, but right on that rock, man. People are so lost, man. And it's so frustrating to just know that like, to, the, to kids or, I'm sure it was kids, you know, but like that's no excuse. If you're old enough to come out here by yourself with a can of spray paint, you should be old enough to know that that's just not a rad thing to do. The parents never gave the kids an opportunity to, to learn about how important nature is and why you don't do that on a, on a cliff 
on a rock face or on any rock or on any tree even. Um, humans just have such an awesome way of ruining good things. Anyway, still happy to be out here. Maybe it was meant to be I came out here, you know, because by the time I'm done with this walk, I'll probably be a lot more calmed down. Oh man, I was thirsty. So if you didn't see my last video, this is my Reflectix Nalgene koozie that I made. Um, because it's cold enough out here that the Nalgene, the water in the Nalgene will freeze. Probably wouldn't happen out here in an hour, but anyway, I want to show you guys and bring you over to this uh, little bit of soup I'm going to have tonight. I made this soup. Um, before I came out here. This is one of my favorite soups because it's super um, healthy. It's practically no carb. It has some carbs in it, because, but you use cabbage instead of, uh, you use cabbage instead of noodles. And hopefully it's still hot, looks like it is. And I did bring a spoon, but I'm gonna try to just drink it. And I could slurp down the ingredients even though they're big. But uh, let's see if I can show you here. So I got uh, sausage, celery, carrots, cabbage, onion, and chicken broth. Oh yeah, it's still hot. Oh my God, that's good though. It's hard to soak up them <laughs> sausage chunks, man. They're huge. Oh. Now, Gene, lids frozen solid. Dang it. Man. Oh, there we go. See, that's why you got to be careful out here. I'll look at my temperature thing. I have it on my backpack, too. All right. Let's take a look here. Thermometer, thermometer. Let's see, there's 20, there's 10. That's zero. Zero degrees. Actually like one, one degree. So honestly, it was probably a little warmer earlier just because, or it's probably a little warmer now than it was earlier because uh it was windy earlier and now it's dead quiet no wind see all i got in there now is these sausage chunks oh they're so good ah, i just spilled some on me they're so good though i'm gonna slurp those down and then i'll get out i'm gonna get out of here because uh, as you can't tell already it's quite dark Sorry, I'm really <sighs> pushing it hard. I can hear now. I'm headed toward it right now, so hopefully I can hear it again. However many AA batteries. Oh man, that's I would try to spot that owl, but. Those trees are way farther away than my headlamp will reach. Well guys, thanks for watching. I know it's just another short little, I would say day hike, night hike, fishing, not really fishing, cooking, not really cooking, hike. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me. There's the truck. It's warm and inviting <laughs> after that long hike. I was out here later than I was. Ugh. 
I was out here later than I was supposed to be and my phone's dead. So I really hope my wife hasn't been trying to call me and isn't freaking out thinking something went wrong. But anyway. Thanks again guys, we'll see you for another one. Haggard. Woo, Haggard is out.